Welcome everybody. Uh, next session on uh, key report with three all the functionalities. We got an interesting question on our Facebook page where the user wanted to show uh, the number of days since the last activity, like a call or an opportunity, and was wondering how to do that. So there's many ways to do that, but one we want to focus on is the custom function that allows us to do that. So what I want to do is create a new report. And start from opportunities. So now we're going to see if I last. Maybe I'm going to do it for calls. Opportunity call. It's okay. We start from the module opportunities. Then we take the opportunity name. And of course, now we want to take open opportunities. Uh, okay, we take we'll take the sales stage as a filter. And it's okay. That should be. One off and take all like closed one, closed lost. So this is fine. And then we want to say, okay, we want to select calls, but only held ones. Let's say, so let's say calls based on the status. And so the status uh, should be. Held. So in our case, with the required here, we only select opportunities that have held calls. The other thing you could do, of course, is say, okay, which opportunities tomorrow I'll have a call. It's another interesting story, but that's a different topic. So I only want to focus on there and say, okay, we take the call and we take the date. And now what we want to do is we want to take her opportunity, the last call. The last held call, so the one with the max date, so we take the function maximum. So we take the highest date, and of course, if you want to do that, we want to have the highest call, not only which opportunity it was, but we want to also group it by the opportunity itself. So if there's multiple opportunities, we want to have it per opportunities, and if they have a grouping field, we could group by the opportunity itself. But however, <coughs> it's not said that this is unique. The ID is unique, so I add the field ID, group by it, and then I call this the last call date. And then in the presentation view, we want to hide that field and just save the report. <coughs> so it now gives us, it basically shows us the opportunities. There we see okay which one was the last call. Let's check this. So in order to check it, we go to the presentation layer and say okay, uh, put a link on the opportunity name. Let's save. Go to this opportunity, new tab opens. We see there's one call on the 11th, first of November. And if you go to that opportunity, switch the code again. We see there's two calls, one on the 14th and on the 21st, and this is the 21st. So I see the latest one. So the next thing we want to do is we want to show the number of days and we want to select by that. So it's okay. How long has that been away? So what we do, we take again the call date, and now we have a magic on the call date. So this is the call, we take the start date, turn it over, we call it this since last call. And now we're going to do it, so we'll take a custom function. Custom functions allow you to do some magic. So there is a good uh, function in MySQL, it's called date diff. Where I can subtract two dates and take the days out. And to get the date of today, there's code date. So if you look up on, on my SQL page, you find all these wonderful uh, things. And then we want to subtract our current field nomenclature. You can find the little listeners and the documentation is uh, T and these wonderful brackets is uh, for the table, the F is for the field currently we are on. So you can also do a little bit more of magic 
in regards to changing things. And now what you want to do is we want to take, of course, we need to ensure that this is the shortest one because it's not necessarily the same that we are now finding uh, uh, the right thing. So we need to take the minimum on this one. Let's just say it. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to sort by that in the same way. I'm going to save there. Oh, I see, okay. You see, this is 11 days on this opportunity, 31 days on this opportunity, and of course now that's wrong, the third order is wrong, so we should change there. So the 31 first. So there is 31 days out, there is 11 days out. And then the other fun thing we can do, we can of course publish that. And then motivation view, iterate the publish and publish the presentation. Right. Then I want to run screen. And so I want to get this right. Okay, I'm going to go to presentation. Select the report. I'm going to go to the wall now. I'm going to get it in the wall. This is how it's called. Save it. There's my report. That was not the right. The idea of this uh, should be a little bit uh, of out. But you see, very easy. Just get this in. How oh, we can take this in as election other things, more to come, so that would be part of our next session. In the meantime, I think that uh, tells you a little bit uh, what you can do with the custom functions and uh, what the powering is. Thank you.